Hello, all you degenerate old schoolers, and welcome back to another episode of The Orb. Um, first of all, go find the subscribe button and hit that shit. I say dumb things a few times a week. Uh, after that, we're up on a four strip match. Tonight's match, I'm playing Micah. Uh, he's got that cool looking Darth Vader shirt on. I got the mean nasty counter spell mat. Uh, but Micah is on something special, some deck I've never played before. It's called Possessed Vault. It is a combo deck. And without further ado, let's take a look at this shit. And here's a look at Micah's deck for the month. So the top row is all the good shit in Magic, old school Magic, uh, plus three mana vaults. Um, so the Ancestral and Time Walk, the good blue cards, the good black cards, and the Moxon. The next row is some lands, some more of the standard good cards, a few extra counter spells, uh, one disc, two Maze of Ith. And the row below, below that is, again, you know, most normal cards in old school, the lands, a couple extra counter spells, Icy Manipulator, and one Mirror Universe. And then the row below that. The row below that is what excites me. Um, he's got three transmute artifacts. Uh, but not only that, one abyss, and it's the cards to the left of that. It's four artifact possessions, which say... Anytime you tap or activate an artifact, artifact possession deals two damage to you. And then we have Knowledge Vault, which has some badass Amy Weber artwork on it. But not only that, you tap to tap this bastard, you take a card from your library, shove it under Knowledge Vault, you do not get to see it. But it's the next part that becomes dangerous. You can pay zero artifact activation and sacrifice this turd and put those cards into your hand. So, Micah possesses his own artifact. And then he can pay zero, I don't know, Say a thousand fucking times. So there's 2,000 damage on the stack. And then he gets real fucking sneaky. And he... He adds in Gauntlet of Chaos. Or Gauntlets of Chaos. Five to cast. And then another five. So this bastard takes ten fucking mana to go off. Uh, to swap your shitty artifact with your opponent's whatever artifact. So after he has this blinding amount of activations on the stack, he dumps the death artifact, or the artifact that's going to come and fucking murder your face, onto your lap, and then you have to do something immediately about it. Uh, I, again, I've never actually played against this deck, I fucking love these wild combos, um, and I, I am ecstatic when they go off. So, yeah, love the deck, A plus for putting it together, uh... Tough to do in four strip format. Uh, get off a combo. Let's take a look at his sideboard. His sideboard contains two blue elemental blasts, uh, one Al Alabaris carpet, and that fucker uh, prevents all damage from non flying creatures. One trike, um, two glooms, I believe, two Ashnald's transmogrants. That's a fucking mouthful. Um, one Hercules. A couple cards, I don't know exactly what they are. An Abyss and a Beak Stone. So, fucking wild child pile here. Uh, love the combo. Um, love the sideboard, too. A lot of cards that don't really get to see play. And here's a look at my deck. So, good news is you can pronounce all of my cards. Um, unfortunately, they're all well-known, too. I have all the good cards kind of sitting up top. Um, I want to win with the Dibs, Sarah Angels, and Urnums. Uh, I got the white, white spot removal, a couple Sylvans to dig, and a f two Armageddons to fucking kick the door shut uh, on, on the games. Now, this being a four-strip format, I could only really afford to put two strip mines in my deck, as my deck is kind of greedy on mana, and it's pretty much all the colors out there. So, uh, that's my deck for the month. You know, he's going to hate my disenchants and my divine offerings. Um... I think that's going to be his his biggest threat that I put out there. That being said, again, I've never played against this deck, so I have no idea in the fuck what he's up to. So 
let's take a look at game number one. And here we are with game number one. Mike is on the play. Puts down an underground C in a mana vault. So, ramping fairly quickly. Have a strip mine. And go ahead and strip out his C. Fairly aggressive play on my part. Micah drops down uh, another underground C, as if he just didn't lose the first one. Oh, tapping a C for a soul ring, so he can come up with five mana right now, all colorless. So he's doing ramp things. Oh, look at this. My second strip mine. Yeah. He. <laughs> He has access to so much mana, I, I don't want to take out a C again. Uh, he comes up with another island. Ooh, tapping a bunch of shit. Tapping seven. Mind twist! First six. This is fucking disgusting. I mean, it's more fun when you do it to other people, but... Um, I get to keep one, and Armageddon's gone, Dib's gone, Tropical's gone, Regrowth's gone, Sylvan's gone, and Spirit Link. That hurts. So I rip a Tundra from the top. Show him my gold bordered spirit link and pass. Um, he untaps his mana vault. So no damage from that. And passes back to me. Um, so this is pretty solid. I keep re uh, taking mana sources off the top. And he hasn't come up with any threats yet from me. Time walk. Draw an extra card. Play an extra land. Oh, Maze of Ith. So, Maze of Ith's kind of problematic for me. Um, I do have the strip mine to take care of it later. More Maze of Ith. It's on a Maze of Ith, and I'm starting to stack cards in my hand. Do hit my fourth mana source. He finds a Loa. Other than that brutal mind twist, it felt like turn zero. A um, whole lot hasn't happened. He does hit an Ancestral. That shit's pretty good. He is hitting a lot of the good cards here. Yeah. Um, I'm responding to that Ancestral. Or I guess I didn't respond to the Ancestral. I <laughs> hit a little too late. He draws with the Loa. Okay, here comes the Knowledge Vault. So yeah, tap two, take a card from the library. You don't get to look at it, put it under Knowledge Vault. At uh, any time after that, you can pay zero. Sacrifice Knowledge Vault and draw a card. Uh, I should say draw the cards underneath Knowledge Vault. So I come up with a Chaos Orb. 
and an activation. Let's flip some orbs. So showing him my target. Clean rotation. Ooh. Okay hit. We'll give it a fourth point three. Uh, that's what the judges from Senegal deliver as their vote. And one Maze of Ith is down. So I'm playing this like Knowledge Vault will not come across the board and try and murder my own ass. Um, but I do need to get through those mazes. You know, uh, the dib can get dangerous if your opponent keeps sending it back every turn and you keep getting clipped by one. Um, so one maze of it down, that, that feels pretty good. Opponent has a city of brass and a pass back to me. Uh, I hit an underground C. Yeah, still not much has happened this game. Okay, Chaos Orb of his own. And just a pass. Uh, we are deeply lodged in the Drago section of the game. I'm still trying to recover from that monster of a time twister, game one. That's something. Brain Geyser. Uh, I try and Brain Geyser for two. And it goes through. So my opponent finally starts using Knowledge Vault. First card underneath. One thing I definitely don't like is uh, when your opponent starts counting up how many mana sources they can come up with. That's never a good feeling. Okay, here he goes. Artifact Possession. So, on his own Knowledge Vault. I'm tapped out. He's tapping for six colorless mana. Gauntlets of Chaos. And, um, yeah. Five to put in play. And another five to activate. And we're going to swap artifacts. And right now my opponent is pointing to his artifact possession saying, um, I'm going to use this a thousand times and put it on the stack. Uh, and then he's going to pay five and Gauntlets of Chaos. We're going to swap artifacts. And I just got fucked bad. I mean, 2,000 damage to my face. All it took was the first 20. Um, that was brutality. I mean, you just tap out and think, hey, you're, you got another turn. He's playing with cards that I don't even know what the fuck they do. And, um, and next thing you know, those cards have just come across the board and fucking killed you. So, uh, game one. Props to Micah. Went off with his artifact possession deck and just decimated me. So we'll swap some cards and move on to game number two. So here we go with game number two. Um, after absolutely getting fucking biffed game number one, I get to play first. Fire a tropical and a pass. Mikey gets down an island. And another card. It must be a Moxon. He didn't pay anything for it. 
do attack his island immediately, strip mine. I tried that last game and it did not work out so well. He comes up with a swamp. Savannah and pass. Yeah, neither of our decks are doing anything in the beginning here. Oh, look at this. He's going to strip mine back for me, taking me off a of blue source. Tropical in the bin. Factory found. Micah shows a little ramp. Um, finds a mana vault and drops it out. And just another pass back to me. Oh, I find a volcanic and fire down a dip. So a threat on board. It does put him on a clock. Oh, so he comes up with some more moxin. Um, drops a ruby and a jet. Taps three. I think that's a time twister. Oh, I lied. That's not a time twister. That's a recall. Uh, he taps three for a recall for one. Discards Ashnald's Transmogrinth. Fucking mouthful. Um, and grabs a strip mine. Uh, and then undoes it all and passes back to me. I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Uh, the audio has been long erased. I do find a second factory. That's something. Uh, Dip deals the first point of damage. Um, that's less than 2,000 to me this match. Uh, so I go to 19, but I come in here for 5. Uh, so that was a serious hit. He's got a three-turn clock going here. He needs some answers in a hurry. Oh, here he goes. He has an answer to that dib, a meek stone. He just drops down. Creatures of power three or greater. Do not fucking untap. And look at this. Disenchant quickly on that meek stone. Um, yeah, I, I can't have Dib sitting there tapped all out, freaking out in the sidelines, just dealing damage to me. Need his ass focused. So, Adderall up that Dib and send him in. Uh, I'm coming in for seven this time, so Mike is down to eight. If I can find a way to deal, you know, one extra point next turn, I can finish it next next turn. Um, so he really needs some answers here. He's tapping his vault. And some moxin. Okay, so he's got the gauntlets out. That's where we swap artifacts. And he passes to me. So I take another point, go to 17. I still have seven on board that I can deal. I'm sure I'm looking through my hand trying to figure out how to deal him one extra damage. Oh, look at this, leave my lands untapped. Send the div in. Tapping for Earn him. Okay. Another big body. I want to make sure this game ends next turn. Yeah, I, th I think he's trying to figure out if he can take the damage from the mana vault. 
that fucking one damage can be so painful. Uh, he takes it, draws, go to four. He goes down to four, uh, draws his card. Does he have an answer? Fires down another Moxon. Okay, so that's a Sapphire. That's why he couldn't recall earlier. He didn't have blue uh, available in his mana pool. But now he does. So I think he's looking through all his outs here. Yeah, doesn't have one. Just has to scoop. Too much to answer to. Um, I mean, even if he balanced, cleared off both creatures, he'd still have to deal with both factories. I guess that's not true. He only have one land to play. So balance was his only out. Don't listen to me most of the time. But, you know, he, again, even if he had a way to answer the two creatures in play, like Wrath, um, the factories were going to get him. So he was in a real tough spot there. Trying to find an out. So... Game number two, I take it. Big beefy creatures come in and barely deal 20 damage. Um, I'm still something like 1,960 damage behind what he's dealt me. So off to game three. And here we are with game number three. Micah's back on the play. As those creatures came in and beat him up in a back alley. He fires down an Ashnald's Transmongrinth. Fucking shit, that's a pain in the ass to say. It's like you jam a bunch of marbles in your mouth. Um, so, I, you know, I, he doesn't have any creatures. I think I've kind of figured out what the fuck he's up to there. He's trying to turn some of my shit into artifacts with the Transmongrinth. And... Swap them. Borrow them from me. Beat me to death with my own leg. You know, one of those deals. So another strip mine hits. Takes out another underground sea. And another dibs out. So dibs did a lot of heavy lifting for me last game. Oh shit. Uh, he immediately answers with a maze of it. Thank goodness my strip mine's already in the bin. I sent Dib in. Dib gets undone. So, Dib's done one damage to me and none to my opponent. And I play a Sylvan. Oh, that'll help me dig for some answers. So, yeah, Dib's done its second damage to me. I get to take a walk through my library. Oh, look at this. I know he's going to deal like 10 billion damage or none. So, I'm using my life as extra cards in this game. Um, Sylvan drew me an extra card. Tapping to Chaos Orb. Ooh, Chaos Orb to the rescue, hopefully. And Micah says, get the fuck out of here with that Chaos Orb. Poor little Chaos Orb. Didn't stand a chance in this life. Uh, fizzled by Counterspell. That being said, Dib will continue to work for the other team. Okay, Michael plays down some more ramp, another mana vault. And I go down to 13 in my upkeep. I think he also snuck in a city of brass there before he passed. Another walk through my library, so I'm seeing two new cards again. And. I've efficiently dealt myself 7 damage. Just taking one. I'm going to need to figure something out here before before long or I don't even have to worry about his artifact possession. 
Tapping five. Sarah Angel down. Okay, that's an answer. She's kind of a big bad bitch uh, with a big awesome sword. So, tapping his mana vault. I mean, he's still sitting on 20. Not a care in the world, skipping down the street. Oh shit, untapping his mana vault. And he decides just to pass back to me. I go to 12 in my upkeep. Draw another card. This is so dangerous. Going down to 8. Play another land and come in with a team. I mean, I got a lot of work to do before that dip kills me off. Sarah gets undone. My first damage of the game in across the board for 3. And another Sarah Angel. Oh, shit balls. And Micah says, I don't fucking think so. Uh, get that shit out of here. Sarah to the bin, but I do have a time walk. This is fucking huge. This is how time walk was meant to play. <clears throat> I go down to seven. His maze is tapped. Another walk through the Sylvan Library. Get to do some reading. And coming back in for seven. This is huge. He's down to ten. Game's almost even again. Tapping two for disenchant. Yeah, try and take out the transmogrant. Uh, force him to give me a plus one, plus one counter on my dib. So Micah took the next couple minutes to explain how Magic the Gathering worked. Uh, to me, and he passes. So, artifact possession down. Looks like he's dropping it on my dib, uh, which will make dib deal three damage to me every time he's tapped. And I kind of have to attack with both with the maze. Um, and even worse news is... He's slightly ahead of me in life total. So go to my turn. I go down to six uh, from the dib. Probably shit my pants a little bit here as I should be. Walk through the, um, yeah, walk through the library, find an ancestral. That's a good one. Oh, look at this Armageddon. This will shut this prison down. Pack up your lands. That's why they're in there. I, I mean, I think I just kicked that door fucking shut. I get to come in for eight now. Put him down to two. Bad news is, I'm going to lose two myself. Go down to four. And three in my upkeep. So, if uh, he can shit out a lightning bolt, this game's over with. Still got the Lotus in play. And the Mana Vault. I mean, he has access to six mana. This is no joke. He only has two cards in hand. So, only two cards in hand. Yeah, he has a Demonic Tutor, though. That's something. He can go look up his favorite card. Sacrifices for black. Um, so, he still has one left. Black floating. And then three... Up to three colorless from that Mana Vault.
Yeah, okay. He goes and finds an abyss. Which is super solid. The only problem is I have one life too many. So, yeah, I think he's, um, you know, one mana short from being able to do whatever he has to do to end my ass. I'm showing with Divine Offering. Yeah, I could have eaten my own, uh, eaten my own dib if I had to and let the game go on. So, I sneak in there, get it 2-1. Uh, A plus to Micah for playing uh, Combo Possessed Vault. Uh, super extra points for playing something that I haven't played against. I love it. So, as always, thanks for watching The Orb.